Hey guys, so you're probably wondering where I am right now. I'm actually at Ben's. Um, I'm here for a few days and he's at work at the moment, so I figured this was the perfect time to film a couple of videos for you guys. So the first one that I'm going to be filming is my April Birch Box. And I have already looked in this and seen what I've got. What I've decided I'm going to do with these Birch Box videos, instead of doing an unboxing, because you don't really get much from that, I don't think. I'm just going to show you what I get in my Birch Box each month and kind of give you kind of my initial thoughts on it. And that way you can kind of see if it's something that you want to you know, join in with and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm just going to show you what I've got in my April Birch Box. So, let's open this up. So the first thing that I got is this um, Savon Surfing Greco Deco soap, basically. This is, um, the little card says, Fresh scents characterise these soaps by La Society Parisienne de Savons. Please excuse my pronunciation, I'm absolutely rubbish at pronouncing pretty much anything foreign. Um, but it says, yeah, basically it's just a soap. Um, I don't think it tells you what scents it has. No, it doesn't. It's just like a typical soap, and to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with this because it's just a soap. It looks like this. And, I don't know, I'm just not overly impressed. I mean, they gave us a soap. It doesn't smell of anything special. It just smells like soap. Like, it doesn't have a really nice scent to it or anything. You know, it doesn't smell bad or anything. It just smells like standard soap. So, I'm not really impressed with that. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people out there that will really like this, but I'm just not a fan. The next thing in my April Birch Box is the Walida Skin Food. And the card says, Victoria Beckham is just one star that swears by this all-natural moisturiser which softens dry heels and elbows with ease. We love it. And this is um, 8 95 full size. The soap full size is £8.50. So this is obviously, everything's kind of little sample sizes. This is what that looks like. So it's just a little, one of those kind of metal squeezy tubes. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of like a germline kind of package. Um, I haven't smelt this actually, I haven't opened it at all, so I can't tell you what it smells of, but um, yeah, there's that, which is, you know, it's a nice handbag size sample, so I'll probably put that in my bag. The next thing in the box is the Natio Gentle Foaming Facial Cleanser um, with sandalwood, shea butter, calendula, rosewood, jojoba, and lemon. And where is it on the card? So this is an effective wash which emits traditional lathering chemicals to prevent skin feeling taut or dry. Um, I think from the looks of this card, depending on um, your answers to the survey that you do when you sign up to Birchbox, you'll either, either get this or the Renew Radiance Foam Cleanser. So obviously I got the Gentle Foaming Facial Cleanser. And this full size is £6.80, so it's reasonably priced. It's sort of the sort of price range that I would actually consider repurchasing this if I like it. I haven't tried it yet. But the thing with this, and I guess I don't know what it is about germaline at the moment, but this smell reminds me of germaline. So, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad smell, it just reminds me of germaline. So, there's that to consider. But I mean, I don't know, it might just be my um, sense of smell is distorted at the moment because, in case you can tell from the sound of my voice, I've got another cold. Um, so, it might be that. But to me, this smells like germaline. But it's just a facial wash, so it's not. Hopefully it won't like linger on your skin or anything, but I got that. Next is the Gerda Spillman Renaissance Age Serum. This is an anti-aging serum. And this says, Keep up your youthful appearance this spring with this antioxidant enriched hero serum. Add it to your routine for fresh, supple skin for all ages. And this full size is £69. So a little bit out of my budget, a little bit out of my price range. Um, I've tried it once and it just kind of disappears so so quickly like I didn't even have time to kind of rub it into my skin at all I just put a little bit on my finger and kind of dabbed it on and tried to rub it and it was already all gone so I'm not sure how I feel about this I won't I won't repurchase it just for the price alone um, but yeah I don't know I mean I didn't do anything bad I've only tried it once like I said so I will continue using this but I probably won't repurchase this because it is just so expensive if, if it does great things then that's great but even if it does I still I can't afford to spend £69 on a face serum. So, 
and that's that. The next thing in here is something that I was really excited about. It's a full size makeup item. This is the Miraness Glossy Kiss in Perfect Kiss, which is just one of the stick lipsticks. And this says, add a pop of subtle colour with this sheer but buildable lipstick. Once you've worn your sample down, just use the sharpener to refresh. And this full size is $17.50. So this alone is more than what I paid for my whole April Birch box. So this kind of makes it worth it. I haven't tried this yet. This is what the colour looks like. And I'll just do a quick swatch for you. That was an awful swatch. So that is what the colour looks like. I think they come in three shades. There's this, which is kind of more of a coral colour. I think there's a red and a more nude kind of colour. So I'm really happy with this. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I can't wait to try this. But from what I've seen from swatching and everything, it looks really good. And the packaging is really cute as well. It's a really nice design and everything. So, like I said, this alone is more than what I paid for my entire April birch box, so I'm happy with that. And the last thing in here is this really cute little birch box mirror, which looks like this. And it just says, let the sun shine in, and it's just, you know, I don't want to blind you, but it's just a, a mirror, which I thought was actually really nice. So that was everything that I got in my April Birch box. I think the two things that I'm most happy with are the mirror, because it's just really cute, and I can chuck this in my bag and it'll be really handy, and the lipstick, the Glossy Kiss from Miraness. Um, I'm really excited to try this. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but I can't wait to, and it looks like a really pretty colour something that I would wear, so I'm really happy with that. Everything else I'm kind of so-so about. The soap, like I said, I'm really not a fan of. It doesn't look cute, it doesn't smell really yummy. I don't really use bar soaps unless it's from Lush because they, you know, they look so cute and they smell so good and stuff. Whereas this soap just kind of looks plain. It doesn't really smell of anything other than soap to me. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to give this away to somebody because I just don't think I'm going to use it. And then the other three things that we got, the Walida Skin Food, the Gelda Spillman Renaissance Age Serum, and the Natio Gentle Foaming Facial Cleanser. Um, these guys, I'm so so about, like I said, the um, age anti-aging serum, I will use up, but I won't repurchase it, I know I won't, so um, I'll just use it up for the sake of using it up. The Skin Food, I will just put in my handbag and just have with me in case I get really dry cut cuticles or anything like that just to kind of have it with me it's just a handy little side to keep, size to keep with me and the Natio um, Gentle Foaming Facial Cleanser this I will definitely definitely try and see what I think of it and this is something that I could potentially see myself repurchasing if I like it so the only thing that puts me off is the smell like I said it, to me it smells like germaline it probably won't to everybody else but to me it smells like germaline so that is my thoughts on the April Birch box. Again, it's kind of a so-so um, box. There's a couple of things that I really like and a couple of things that I'm like, mm, I'll try them and see what I think. And then a couple of things I'm like, mm, yeah, I, I won't repurchase that or I'm even not going to use one of the items. So again, so-so, but I'm not, it's not so bad that I want to discontinue my subscription or anything like that. I'm still going to stay subscribed because there are a few things and it's always great to try new things and particularly with like the more expensive things, it's nice to get the chance to try them and see what you think because realistically I would never go out and pay 69 or whatever it was pounds for the anti-aging serum just to see if it works for me or not. So this is a nice way to see if it does work or not and maybe I'll have a friend that can afford to spend that sort of money on a facial serum and is in the market for something like that and I can recommend that to her and kind of give her my thoughts on that so I like the way it works in that sort of way so yeah that was my April Birchbox video I hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts if you receive them in the comments below what items you're really keen to try and yeah I think that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye guys